Hello, I'm Guillermo Martinez, and today we're going to talk about one of the earliest instruments of, of the Americas, and it's called the Ayotl, A-Y-O-T-L, and it's the turtle drum, or the turtle shell. And as you can see, this had been, you ate a turtle, you had a shell, and eventually you'd find, find out it had, that it has these beautiful tones, and you got these are typically played with deer antlers. And you can see it has different tones depending on what part of the antler you strike it. And also, typically if you look at the shell, you'll see like these little V's, convergent V's. You know, each pattern on the bottom of a turtle shell is unique to itself, like a fingerprint. So you typically, you would kind of strike around and find the, the part you like the best which is typically where these, you'll see these convergent lines. Okay, so in parts of southern Mexico, this is still very commonly used, and it would, they would uh, take a, I have a leather I put on just right now, flute, you know, from one of my flutes, but you can, uh, I've seen them with um, handmade, really beautifully done, handmade, you know, rope, made out of maguey fibers, or you could use hemp, like a braided, but you can do something quite nice for this part. And basically you're just gonna go through the, the turtle shell and get it to a height that puts it comfortably where you want it. And typically it was always played with two antlers. And I went through the back and found antlers that the points struck in the right place. Now a smaller shell, you probably need smaller pair of antlers, a bigger turtle shell. This is quite large actually. You might wanna get bigger. That's a tra traditional playing pattern, but so it's quite a fun instrument. You can do with the point, so you could get the size. And these are quite loud, and the sound really carries. Now, you can also get different sizes. Here's a really small one. Let's try the other. Let's try the other antler. This is a thinner one. I like the bigger one. But anyways, so what you have is you have natural third. So the turtle, the turtle drum actually is producing a natural third. And what they mean by that is you take the root, the lowest one, which is this side. And if you go up on a musical scale, you count one, two, three, that'll be this side. As you can hear, it sounds like tick tock, tick tock. So it kind of gives, and so you, you know that's, uh, so this is something, so this gave, you know, early people of a sense of, um, of notes as far as their distancing. And so, um, but anyways, I figure this is a really cool instrument, easily acquired. You know, people in the South still eat turtles, so you can acquire shells. Antlers is a different story, but those are also easily acquired. And it's something that you can walk around with and play. And, um, you know, it's a nice accent instrument to play with drums and, and other instruments as well. And it's um, part of our the early history here of North America used by the Aztecs, the Mayans, and all the, other, all the different cultures, and primarily more central to southern Mexico. Um, I think you might find some of these instruments also depicted in, say, around with the mound builders, and, um, but it's definitely an early part of the history of North America, and Central and South America as well. So thank you very much, hope you liked it, this video, and we'll try to bring out more instruments in the future. For you to enjoy and, and learn about. Thank you very much.